Welcome to Tech Brothers with Ahmed. Today we are going to answer this question. What is parallel execution in SSIS? And how many data flow tasks can you run in parallel in one of the SSIS package? So let's go to the SSDT or bids, whatever you have according to the version installed on your system and take a look. And we are in the control flow pan right now. If I will bring one data flow, one executes equal task and another that another data flow task and uh, maybe uh, execute process task so i have four tasks sitting here but they are not connected with each other so that's where they will run in parallel so if you have a uh, different task sitting in the control flow pan and they are not attached by using the presence constraint they will be running in parallel once you attach them they will be running in a sequence the way you have connected them so how many tasks will run in parallel that depends so we need to take a look on a few of the properties and that's how we can figure out so what what is the most important thing here the number of tasks that can run in parallel that depend on the number of cpus you have on your server how we can take a look uh, how many CPUs uh, you have on your machine so you can go to the device manager I'm gonna go to device manager and show you right here and then I'm gonna go under the processors right here and I can see that I have four processors and uh, how many maximum executables uh, or the task I can run that's number of processors plus two so in my case I can run six of them in parallel by default the properties is set in a way so all uh, processor will be used and the six maximum executables will be run on my machine let's go to the properties of a control uh, of the package and then we will see there we have max concurrent executable that is set to minus one so it, it means if it is set on your machine to minus one, it will be running the total data flow task or the execute SQL or mix of them, but the own executables or tasks that will be number of processors on your machine plus two. We can always set that to any value what we like. If I want to run two of them in parallel, so I can use that one. I can uh, change this property to two. If I want to run four of them, I can change to the four. So what, what is going to happen when I have six or eight of the executables uh, that can be any task I'm calling them when I'm calling them executables e each task is executable. So if I have set this property the max concurrent property is equal to four which four will be running in parallel. So if you do not connect them there would be no uh, sequence they any four will be running a uh, parallel the position doesn't really matter maybe these four will run first and once uh, one of them completed the next one will kick in so that's how they will run now th this is very important if you are loading the data from uh, um, your uh, flat file sources or excel uh, uh, source or, or even the OLTP source uh, and uh, you want to load the data to the staging this might be very useful and you, as uh, you don't really care about which table is loaded first uh, and which one is loaded uh, at the end because they are not depending upon uh, each other but if uh, your uh, you want to perform some task in the one of the data flow and then you perform uh, uh, some actions uh, or function functions uh, on uh, depending on the previous data then you have to have connect them so that's where you cannot use the parallel execution but if uh, you are loading data mu to multiple tables and you do not care about the sequence uh, and uh, that data is not depending on each other you can load the data in parallel by using the execute tables in parallel just remember that the by default property is set to minus one that's uh, total number of processors plus two that's what uh, it can execute in parallel thanks very much for watching this video and i will see you next video